What's up fellow content creators and streamers, today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best OBS audio settings for your streams and recordings. And with no time to waste, let's get right into it. So what I like to do for my audio, instead of going into settings and setting up my audio through here, I like to set them up in the sources. The reason why I like to set them up in sources is because it's way easier to get to rather than having to go into settings and clicking on audio and all that crap. So there's only two things you're going to have to do. The first thing you have to do is add a audio input capture, name it whatever you like. This is going to be your microphone. But as you can see, I already added one, so I don't need to. Then the next thing you have to do is click on audio output capture. And for audio output capture, that's going to be your desktop audio. So name it whatever you'd like. But for me, I just named it as desktop audio. So once you add both of your sources, what you want to do is left click on mic and then control left click on desktop audio and then right click and then group the selected items. You can name this folder whatever you like, but for me, I'm just going to name it audio. What I do usually is I just drag it above everything else in the sources tab just to have it firsthand rather than having to go through the list and try to find it. The next thing you want to do is right click on microphone and click properties. For your microphone, you obviously just want to set up your microphone and device. So for me, I have the Yeti X. And then for your desktop audio, I would use your headset audio because whatever you're listening to is what your audience is going to listen to. So if something is allowed to you, it's going to be allowed to your audience, etc, etc. For filters, desktop audio, you don't have to add anything. But for microphone, on the other hand, I like to add four filters. I use compressor, gain, limiter, and noise gate. For compressor, I don't change anything. These settings are usually good for any casual microphone. If your microphone isn't peaking in red like so, you want to bump your gain up a little bit and try to get it in red because your audio is way different compared to game audio or your other friend's audio where they're probably going to be louder. But you want you as the main audio. For limiter, set your threshold to negative 3 dB. This is so you don't peak in your streams and recordings and then it just sounds crappy and loud and basically just destroys your eardrums and then finally for noise gate these are all the normal settings that they give you off the rip don't touch any of these these are good for any casual microphone and that's pretty much it for your audio hope these settings improve your stream quality and recordings be sure to drop a like if you haven't already and also subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace out